Let's uh, look at this further with Peter Saunders, who's uh, head of the UK's uh, National Association for People Abused in uh, Childhood. Well, welcome to DW. Do you think it's fair to say these latest revelations, this time from Germany, fit a global pattern? Good evening, Phil. They, they absolutely do. I mean, I've been working with victims and survivors, and I am one myself, um, for over 20 years. So none of these rev revelations are actually new. What is horrible is, is to actually have to confront the reality that, as institutions go, the Catholic Church harbours, in reality, more criminals than any other institution on the planet. I mean, if, it, if we were talking about a multinational corporation, a business that had so many rapists and perverts dotted around the globe, many in the southern hemisphere that we don't tend to look at very often, we, there would be an absolute outcry, an outrage. But there hasn't been until now. And now organisations like NAPAC, my own in the UK, that has the support of the British government, thank God, and Ending Clergy Abuse, the organisation that I'm here in Berlin meeting with tomorrow. We're having a congress, a conference in, in this wonderful city to discuss this issue. At long last, something is starting to happen. But there are no excuses, Phil, that the church hasn't taken this issue seriously in the past and done something about it, because it absolutely could. Now, this is a pope who, who, uh, who many are pinning their hopes on to promote change. And until recently, you were working on his child protection a commission. You were disappointed by your experience. Why? But, well, beyond disappointed. When I met the Pope in 2014, I really thought that things... I thought he was taking this matter seriously. I thought something significant, fundamental, was going to change because, you know, abuse in the Catholic Church is, is, is a pandemic. It, it goes on everywhere. I, I've, I've heard from uh, mostly adults who were abused as kids, of course, from all over the world. And during the course of my brief period of time on that papal commission, absolutely nothing ha happened. And of course, I was ejected because I started to voice that opinion. So the church doesn't like to air these issues. It doesn't like transparency. It protects its own. And as I say, it's the biggest organisation in the world, I, I would say, that, 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 that has more I hate to use the word paedophile because they're not all paedophiles, but child abusers, more than, than any other organisation. It's an, it's an outrage and it's so got to stop. We have, on the one hand, we, we have the, the Pope's Commission and you, and you were part of it. You, you were looking at this from, from the, the inside, dissatisfied with, with what you, you saw and, and, and left it. So it was that... a public relations exercise. So <laughs> what is it then? Did, why is the church so resistant to the idea of arresting all these criminals within it and just cleaning out the stables, as it were, if I can mix my metaphors like mm. that? Mix your metaphors all you like. You need to get some of the cardinals or the archbishops sitting here and try and explain why they do this. Uh, I, I personally, you know, as a Christian, I don't understand it. These are supposed to be people of God, but the way they behave, clearly they, many of them, there are good priests and nuns around, let's, let's, let's not forget that. But the people at the top of the tree, the people who run this institution, are, are basically morally corrupt as far as I'm concerned. So do you think then that they think they can just ride this out because barely a day goes by without there being another revelation of thousands more children having abused here, there and everywhere? Do you think they can just wait for this to pass? That's what they're relying on and that's what they've got away with for generations. But at long last, you and I are having a conversation about this. We've got this Congress in Berlin at the weekend we're discussing this. Six more states in the United States of America have announced that they are doing an investigation into the Catholic Church within their own states. This is, you know, we have the independent inquiry in the UK that is also looking at the Catholic Church. We've had the Royal Commission in Australia that has strongly condemned the Catholic Church, the church of my upbringing. Things are going to change, and I don't think, and I think at last, um, the Pope, if nobody else, realises that they can't get away with this criminality uh, any, any longer, Phil. Complicated question that I'm going to ask you to try and answer briefly. <laughs> Are 
national governments complicit in this? Why aren't national governments, uh, why aren't national legal authorities prosecuting more of these people? Well, it's a good question. We could talk about it for hours. In too many parts of the world, the church has had far too much power uh, and far too much of a, uh, a cosy relationship. I mean, Ireland being an example, a place close to where we were brought up. That is no longer the case, but the church was a dominant factor and a dominant force in Ireland for generations. At last, that's no longer the case, but in many other parts of the world, it still is, Phil. Right. Good talking to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Peter Saunders uh, from the UK's uh, National Association for People Abused in Childhood.